Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from GreenSock. In this video, I'm going to give you a little background on how you can read ease curves, and I'm going to show you how you can use the ease visualizer to create your own custom ease. And lastly, I'll show you how to use custom ease in your own projects. Before I get too deep into the details of custom ease, I just want to make sure we know how to read these easing curves properly, okay? This graph shows us how the progress of the tween along the x-axis relates to the value that we're tweening to along the y-axis. Wherever this curve is steep, it means that the rate of change is happening quickly. Wherever the curve gets flat, it means the rate of change is slow. All right, so looking at this curve right here, we'll see that this animation is going to start out fast where it's steep and then slow down at the end. So let me run this animation. You'll see the ball starts very quickly and then slows down at the end. We typically refer to this as an ease out. We're slowing down on the way out. If I switch this over to an ease in, we'll get the opposite. We'll have a flatter curve at the beginning and then a steeper curve at the end, which means we're going to start slow and then speed up on the way out. I'm going to switch back over to an ease out ease, and I'll show you that we have a few different strengths of these eases, okay? We have a power one, and you'll notice the curve changes. It's not as flat at the end. Power two gets a little flatter and a little steeper at the beginning here and that changes as we progress through the strengths. Now, this gives us a fair amount of control, but at the end of the day, we're just giving you four options here for this ease out ease. Wouldn't it be great though, if I could just use any curve I want? Well, custom ease to the rescue. I'm gonna click on the custom button, and now you'll see that this curve becomes editable. I can select this point, move it wherever I want. I can bring it up above the ending value, and now you'll see that the ball shoots up and then goes back down to where it should end. I'm going to take that point, move it down here, and show you that I can add a new point by holding down Option or Alt and clicking on that path. I'm just going to bring that point a little bit down here, use the control handle to smooth it out a little bit, and the same with this point. So I have nice smooth curves here. Now what this ease graph is showing us is that we're going to increase the value over time and then bring that value back down and then move it back to the end value. So this ball is literally gonna shoot up, come back down, and then shoot up again, all right? So the easing graph isn't just about going fast or slow, it can actually control the direction of the animation. And this isn't just for positional changes like X or Y, we're talking about applying these easing curves to any properties. So you might have an animation where for this part of the curve, the scale of an item grows, and then shrinks back down and then grows again, all right? And another cool thing you can do is you can take the end point, check this out, and I can bring it back down here. Now, what does this mean? This means that I'm going to have an ease that literally makes the animation end where it begins. Let me just get rid of this point here. I'm gonna select it and hit delete, and I'm just gonna smooth this out just a little bit, something like this. Now check it out, the ball goes up, and then comes back down. So one animation has it going one way and then the other way. Let me show you a few tips for editing this curve, all right? I can use Command Z to undo a few times. Let me go back to around here. I can select multiple points by I can select one and then shift click the other. And now you'll see that I'm moving these two points at once. I'm gonna select this point here and you'll notice that it's a smooth curve, but let's say I wanna turn this into a corner. I can hold down Option or Alt and grab this handle. And then so now I have a corner point here. If I Option click on this point, it'll bring it back to a smooth curve. Option click again, brings it back to a corner. When you have a corner like this, keep in mind that the control handles are literally right on top of the point. So I can just Option grab to pull that handle out and Option grab to pull that handle out, okay? Again, Option or Alt click, back to a corner, hit delete, the point goes away. While I'm dragging a point, we have some snapping built in, so we will snap to the grid. To turn that off, you can just hold down Shift while you're dragging. And again, to add points, Option or Alt click on the path and pull the point down. Option, Alt click, and then you can move that point wherever you want. Now you'll notice at sometimes the line highlights in red, okay? It'll do this to tell you that you sort of have an invalid curve, all right? And that's gonna happen anytime you double back along the x-axis, okay? Because look what's happening right now. At this progress value right here, as I shoot up, there's one value on the curve, 
and then there's another value, and then there's another value, okay? We can't have a proper ease that doubles back on itself like this, all right? So you get into trouble, no big deal, Command Z, and you get out of it. Now, as cool as these features are, there may be times where, you know what, you just want to use your own curve that maybe you drew in your favorite program like Adobe Illustrator. Well, check this out. Here in Adobe Illustrator, I have a path that I drew with the pen tool. I'm just going to click on that path, do a Command C to copy that path. I'm going to go back to my Ease Visualizer, and I'm going to just scroll down a little bit here, and notice that whenever I'm moving this point around here, that we're updating these values, okay? This is basically the D attribute of an SVG path. So what I'm gonna do is just double click on it, get rid of everything in there, and I'm gonna paste in what I get from Illustrator. Now Illustrator gives me the entire SVG code, all right? No big deal, I'm gonna click off. The tool is automatically gonna parse out all that unnecessary information, and there we go. There's my path from Illustrator. Now. I've called this the hoppies, okay, because what's going to happen is the value is going to shoot up, then back down, and up again, and back down to the beginning point. I'm just going to change the duration of this to about five seconds, and now when it runs, you can see what happens. All right, we get that nice little double bounce. And now if I want to use this ease in one of my projects, I just need to copy and paste this code. Let me show you how. I'm going to select all the code down here, do a Command C to copy. And then I'm going to jump over to a code pen demo. And let me just paste. Before I run this code, I want to show you that this demo is loading in between Macs and Custom Ease. Custom Ease is available for download for anybody with a free GreenSock account. Here we're using a version that anyone can play around with on code pen. Before I run this code, I just want to make sure I change the target first to dot logo to target this element. And I also want to make the Y be minus 50, okay? So remember, when I run this, that's going to make us do the double hop. He jumps up a little bit, and then he jumps up a lot, all right? So that duration might be a little bit on the long side. I'll cut that down to about two seconds. And there we have this nice little double hop, all right, using our own custom ease. Now, this is all well and good, but I want to point out that we strongly recommend that you define your ease outside of your actual tween. What does that mean? It means I'm going to take this whole chunk of code here, I'm going to cut it out, and I'm just going to create a new line above my tween. And I'm also going to give this ease its own name, okay? By default, it's custom, but I'm going to call it hop. And then inside my tween, what I'm going to do is just reference it via that string name. The reasons we recommend doing this are because, one, it's going to make your code a lot more readable, all right? You don't want to have your animation code cluttered up with these really long strings, all right? And another reason is that this allows the engine to process all this data before our animations actually run, okay? So we recommend that you create your eases up front, and then when your animations run, the engine doesn't have to worry about processing all those points and creating those curves. Now, when I was showing you the easing graph, I said these eases, you know, aren't just about positional values like X and Y. So I talked about using one of these eases on the scale. So let me just change this over to be a scale of, we'll say, 1.5 and a rotation of 30. So on this run, it's just going to scale up a little bit, go back down to the start values, all the way to the end values, and back to the start. So here I'll hit run, and there we have our nice little scale and rotation hop. Okay? So there you have it. I'm using my own ease that I literally drew myself in Illustrator. And another cool feature of custom ease is that you can put in cubic bezier function values as well. So if you're trying to replicate a CSS animation that you have, and you have a curve like this with a function like that, um, you can just get that data. I'll go back to my demo, and we'll just paste in that string. And so now you're going to get a little bit of an ease in, with a little back at the end, a little overshoot, and there you go. But I think I'll go back to my ease. Custom Ease is available to anybody with a free GreenSock account or Clove GreenSock membership. You can create your free GreenSock account easily on any page on the GreenSock site. Once you have your account, just log in, and you'll see your GSAP with bonus content zip. You'll find Custom Ease in the Eases folder. To learn a whole lot more about Custom Ease or to set up your free GreenSock account, just head over to greensock.com slash customease. You'll find a bunch of videos and demos and everything you need to get up and running quickly.